Welcome to me face. I'm James St. James and this is Transformation. <laughs> <laughs> With us today, the gorgeous, the fabulous, the Vivian. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Did you realize it's been four years since you were here last time? Oh, yes. She wanted an ambassador for the brand in the UK to kind of drum up some <laughs> excitement. So, like, the main goal is to get Drag Race, well, get our own version in the UK. And then once it starts, will you be on the show? I will cause hell if I'm not. <laughs> You've got new teeth. I got new teeth. And you look I've got new legs, new cheeks. Yeah. <laughs> you look a little different. You look, you, we've each done an upgrade. Yeah, this is what happens when you get married. <laughs> oh, and as we get older and bigger <laughs> and more fabulous. The last time you were here, you were a brand ambassador for RuPaul's Drag Race. Uh -huh. And now you are the winner of season one. Please. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Oh. Did, did you ever have a feeling that you weren't going to be cast? Was it was it nerve wracking? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, because I, you know, being the brand ambassador, I was like, are they oh, going to cast already, me? They've already blown your wad on yes. like, being brand ambassador. If I even got cast, would I even have a chance at winning? Right. And then, but you know, I think you know, I I didn't get approached for the show. It right, was no, very. It you was, had, everyone has to do the same thing. Go do the thing. Go do this. Go do that. Go to all the stages. You must be exhausted. Yeah. Part of the package, part of the winning thing, was that you come would come to LA and we would do a show with you. How has that been going? It's been so good, you know, where, where everyone was like, oh, you want a show in the Wild Basement? I was like, no, <laughs> bitch, we have been on a <laughs> location in Hollywood up at 5 a.m. in the morning, and I think what we've got is just gonna be hilarious. How do you get the energy? <laughs> You've just gotta get up and throw a lash on and just pray. <laughs> loads of Red Bull, loads of um. Now, you are a scouse. Scouse. I didn't know what that was last time. It's well, I'm from North Wales originally. Moved to Liverpool when I was 16. And then, you know, I pick up accents terrible, so. I was doing some research about Welsh people. There are lots of really famous Welsh people. Did you know that uh, Taryn Egerton is uh, uh, Welsh? I didn't, no. Timothy Dalton? No. Anthony Hopkins? Yes. Dame Shirley Bassey? Yes. Mary Quant? I don't know who that is. The designer from the 60s who like did, who designed the 60s. She was like the most famous designer ever. Tom uh, Jones. Tom Jones. Uh -huh. um, Elizabeth Taylor. Uh, Richard Burton. Elizabeth Taylor. No, Elizabeth, Elizabeth Taylor. Taylor's husband, Richard Burton. Oh, right. <laughs> right. So wait, what are we doing today? Right, so seeing as last transformations four years ago, we did bring up Pete Burns. Oh, we did. And then first episode of Drag Race UK, I did Pete Burns. Yes. And won the challenge. Get the amount of times I got read online for like, oh, she won the first challenge and she wearing the flats. I was wearing the exact boots that Pete used to wear, and Rue knew that and Michelle knew that. So. Okay, well, that's all that matters. <laughs> no. <Comment section. laughs> I don't believe you can do this. The challenge is up to you now to do this. Let's go. We're gonna do it. Okay, yeah. <laughs> what is the first step in making these beats? Okay, so first step is get rid of this hair. Oh, you're, 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 <laughs> you've, you've got a lot of hair. I can mean, I get it? Yes, I've explained this before. This is a magical <laughs> hair. You can, you, okay, you, can, you, can, you can pull it out and tomorrow morning It'll it will be, be just as long. Longer. First of all, we're gonna tape the face. Okay, okay. So, you've got this tape. This uh huh. Way. And I just shaved off my brows for you today. Oh, so they'll sting. Uh -huh. I, um, oh! <laughs> Oh! Oh! Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, it's just... <laughs> you should see the back of your head. It's like a... Show us, <laughs> show us. Look at this intricate system. <laughs> 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 I love that. I met the Queen when I was... What? You met the Queen? Yeah, I actually danced for her. No! When I was maybe like 10 or 11. <laughs> so the Queen, it was her golden jubilee. Right. So there was like all schools in a big round thing around a racetrack and she was in a, a backless Range Rover just going round and she'd stop in front of each school and we'd all be like... Wait a minute, wait a minute, we're still talking about the, the, the royal family and everything. What, what do you think of Megan? I think she's gorgeous. Yeah. And I'm, I think it's amazing that we've, you know, that she got first. away, that she got, that she got Harry well, out that, of there. That she first got in there anyway, you know, yes. I think what an amazing message to send out to, you know, little girls of color seeing that in this royal family that. Bless his heart, Harry watched his mother be killed. Through the exact yeah. same thing. And they have a family. And I, all I, all I want for Harry is to be happy because I love Harry so much. Mm -hmm. And I think she makes him happy. Yeah. I love you, Harry. I love you, Harry. Oh my God. So this is just foundation. You're no stranger to a TV stick by Krylon. 
Smack Fix Spray. So I like to just put a bit on. It just helps blend the TV stick out more. I learned drag through, you know, I turned a street corner one night in Liverpool and there was my friends Brenda and Tiara and they weren't like doing twin drag, but they were definitely mother and daughter, kind of, you know, big hair, very pageanty, but <laughs> not but very pageanty, but still very Blackpool, you know. So I saw them and was like, what the f are these two creatures? <laughs> Swiftly moved away from them and then just got home, couldn't stop thinking about them. And you know, when you feel like you've always had something in the back of your head, but you didn't know what it was. Right. So then when I started wanting to be a makeup artist, it was never because I wanted to do other people's makeup. I knew in the back of my <laughs> mind, it was, uh -huh. I want to do that on myself. Uh -huh. So an easy in was to be a makeup artist. And what was your first, the first time you went out in a drag, what was your first look? What did you do? Oh my God. So I wanted to be like very Dita Von Tees. So I went and bought this. That's ambitious for a first time. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so that oh was my, my, uh, my own fringe that I <laughs> my own black hair that I'd pulled outside the front of a blonde wig. <laughs> so yeah, but Rome wasn't built in a day, girl. <laughs> I'm happy with my drag. I love my drag, but I think it's, like you say, it's always evolving. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I try and do my, my eyes differently every night and just try and keep up with trends and stuff like that. Because you know, you see these 10 year old drag queens and they've got like this weird and I'm like how do they do it what? you know because we had so we had a little 16 year old a Parisian girl she go and uh just like she said she's like oh I've been doing drag for three months yeah yeah and you're like what how was it that I saw that was it yeah, on here yeah, yeah, yeah I saw it I know it's just and she crazy. was like uh-huh. And had so 16 and just so self-possessed and so well, I mean at 16 you're so uh -huh. sure of yourself. Like everything you do it like you know yeah you're you you can not tell anybody 16 year old anything. I met um Pete one time on the red carpet in London and um I, he, we were talking and I said something about how, oh my God, you look like Amanda Lepore's little sister. Yeah. And he got tears in his eyes and he was furious with me and wouldn't talk to me for the rest of the night because he said it was really insulting. I like that, like I really what? hurt his feelings. But I love him so funny. much. He's so beautiful and so wonderful. He was so funny on Big Brother. So you've got good cheeks. I said they remember this last time. Mm, thank you. Smiling on for me? Just a little. All right, we're going to start with the eyes. So, Anastasia Beverly Hills. Nice. Primer. Even though Pete was such an outlandish character, his eye makeup was always quite small and simple. What is your signature song? What is, what is your spin me right around? Everyone knows me for singing Cher. Yeah. So it's always walking in Memphis. You know, I love singing show tunes. They're a bit of Rocky Horror. Yeah, it's, it's hard because if you're performing to a group of gays that are like, twi like sometimes I'll sing I found someone. Right. And people are like, who's this? <laughs> like, are real? This is my new favorite best friend. If you're in a rush and you're doing a cut crease, uh, it's like a liquid, it's by Huda, Huda mm -hmm. Beauty. And it is like a liquid metallic. So we're just getting the eye shape right, just darkening things up. And Pete has a really thin eyebrow as well. Nice. This liquid liner is my favorite. It is Huda again, Huda Beauty. It's called a life liner, so it doesn't move. Okay, we're gonna do your eyeliner. See, so we could look up over here for me. Oh. Can you do a, a 20 minute beat? Oh God, no. Yeah. My foundation, just just my base takes like 30 minutes at least. Right, we're gonna start with Pete's brows. Mm -hmm. So they're slim, very arched. Uh huh, there is some Chad Michael in there, isn't there? Yeah, I mean, squint and there's Chad and Cher. <laughs> and how are Americans? Do you like Americans? I would move to America in a heartbeat. Yeah. You know, you've got to kind of wait for when the time is right. And is there enough work over here for, because there's no, there'd be no point in me moving here to have to fly back to right. England constantly. Is it bleeding? Oh, boy. Oh, ah! She needs a break, she's bleeding. Ah! What is wrong with me? Why do I do that? Because you keep biting your nail. You know, why do I bite my nail though? Because, mm. is it nerves? There's ways of overdrawing lips and there's ways of not overdrawing lips. Okay, what is the wrong way? So, I'd say the wrong way is using like a light color and just 
going crazy and just keeping it as one. Right. Do you get me? So a lot of queens, when they do dolly, they huge. They draw their head lips on huge. Salvador, but... dolly? <laughs> dolly Parton. Oh. So there's a couple of tricks. Using darker colours and covering it in gloss. So the gloss blurs oh, out right. your, okay. your natural line. Or you can do it, whereas I think I did it on you last time when we overdraw them, but then ombre them so they're darker around the right, corners yes. and then uh -huh. it brings the, all the focus uh, into the middle. Mm -hmm. So today we're going to do the darker colour and loads of gloss. Okay. So Pete's bottom lip is huge. So I'm going to bring this lip right over here. We'll see once the colour's out. <coughs> this is a flash palette. Not a red? Yeah. A red, red. Oh, I get scared with red. Because these lips are going. Oh, 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 oh. Let me get it out of the system. Wow, okay. <laughs> this is just a sh ton of gloss. Um, so we're gonna go put your, put on the outfit and the wig and the hat and the, the jewelry and then we're gonna be on the it's gonna be fabulous, oh my god, yay! Oh, this is the best transformation we've ever had! Best I've ever seen, oh my god! Scouts! <laughs> Scouts! See, you said we weren't gonna get that. Yeah, we, we did it! I never believe it's gonna happen, love! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for coming, darling! Oh, come back anytime! Whoa! <laughs> and it's on China. <laughs>